consolidated rubber and logistics, Corlo is a 19th century manufacturing company that has expertly evolved to maintain relevancy. Expansion into medical glove production and wearables during the great pandemic brought the company further into healthcare supply. And additive manufacturing has taken the company further, specifically into bioengineering. Their recent partnership with Medistate to provide self-folding polymer heart stents was their greatest breakthrough, but could now prove their undoing. This is all fuel to the flames for the conspiracy theorists who have inevitably moved on from vaccines and phone masts to what they see as surveillance tech within the body. Nanomedicine, bioengineering, and connected implants. Corlo has been implicated in this, and however inaccurate it may be, regularly must deal with the consequences. Now Corlo Industries finds itself at the center of a critical failure, one that's already cost many lives. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You spent the last 48 hours on this. Can someone please tell me what was the fault and how can we fix this? We've been staging out the firmware updates now for days without a single issue. Development and backward compatibility was complicated. We had some Thetan issues, but nothing significant was picked up in the testing and integration phases. I don't see how any of that could have cost us though. But are you sure? Well, no, not yet. Who is to say it wasn't something external? Ben. We haven't uncovered anything suggesting that we've been compromised. We continuously monitor the integrity of our systems and data, and there just haven't been any red flags, nothing out the baseline. No record of any unexpected network activity, users, processes, nor devices. Absolutely nothing across the entire network. But are you sure? Well, we're still digging. Okay. Mini so what you what y'all are saying is objectively, we know nothing. Unbelievable. Richard, we've got to put out something soon. We can't stay silent for too long. We can't say we don't know anything either. Right, but staying silent is hurting us more, Richard. Look. Corolo's silence speaks volumes. The silence of the wolves? Corlo's future at stake? Just a few of today's headlines? So what do you suggest we do? You are well known for being permanently online, but in the past two days, nothing. Just one post, one pro forma post. People know that something is up, and if we don't keep them in the loop, they'll assume that we're hiding something. You always told me that success is about a human connection. So get out there, talk. How sorry we are. What happened? Bring him in. Even if we don't know what happened? Okay, Victoria. When and how? Nineteen people have died and almost a hundred more are in critical condition after a sudden malfunction of their self-holding heart stents. We're looking into every possible lead. You need to understand that these investigations take time. Emergency services just didn't have quick enough access to the right data. A lot of lives could have been saved had the single digital identity not been rejected in 2028. And what's the government's answer to technical failures? More untested technology? Seriously? I told you so. Two days after the fatal malfunction of Corlo's medical products, we still have few answers. And we must not forget the victims' families. A social funding campaign has been set up in order to help these people. So please, please don't forget to support them in this challenging time. I've been Julia Sanchez. The truth, as always. See you next time on Report 2030. Do you know when he'll wake up? Good evening. That's a question for the consulting physician, Dr. Martinez. Can I speak to Dr. Martinez? 
Your insurance package does not cover unscheduled access to the consulting physician, but I can put you in line. The doctor has an available appointment on Monday at 7 a.m. Should I schedule the call? Media Savvy CEO Richard Graves has been unusually absent from his channels. Apart from issuing a brief text statement that reads, our thoughts and prayers are with the families of everyone affected by this incident. Corlo Industries, the manufacturer of the technology in question, called off their annual keynote only minutes before their stream was due to go live. This blow to Corlo's reputation was felt on the stock market straight away and could, of course, impact the future of their ambitious government contract. Good evening, I'm Julia Sanchez. Welcome to a special edition of Report 2030. My guest tonight, Richard Graves, CEO of Corlo, a company whose products kill people. <laughs> Julia, please. Our products don't kill people. They save lives. So what is it that killed 21 people, if not the malfunction of your technology? Yes, this is an absolutely tragic incident. We are, I am heartbroken by what has happened. So we're doing everything we can to get to the bottom of it. Now, it's complex. See, when you're changing the world, sometimes... Sometimes you can accidentally kill people. Sometimes there can be mistakes. Okay, so you admit that you made mistakes. And that your company's Products kill people, but do you at least know how? Because up until now... Cola has remained silent as the grave. Correct, Mr. Graves? <laughs> how original. We have our people thoroughly investigating. We all on this, 24-7, until so we... So you don't know what happened? First of all, we want to ensure that our system is secure so that something as tragic or even similar cannot happen again. And for that, you need to know what did happen. So do you. We... We are painstakingly analyzing petabytes of data, so we do know that only the first and second generation devices were affected. Now, in Th order to... That's old news, Mr. Graves. Do you or do you not know what caused the deaths of 21 people? The most important thing is that the remaining devices are a 100% safe. Now, I personally guarantee that we'll- You're not answering my question. Can you or can you not tell the people of New San Hoban and the world what caused Corlo's 4D medical devices to stop working without warning? And how can you assure us that people aren't just simply waiting to die? Ah! Our d d devices go through a rigorous process. And then a few years later, they kill people. Is this an interview or a public lynching? 